All right, what's up guys? It's Chris bringing you guys another commentary. Um, I, I want to talk about this Ignition DLC. You know, it's, I don't know, like I have people saying, talking about it on Twitter. Everyone's like, oh my God, the next map pack is going to be called Ignition. It's got four different map packs and or four different maps. And it's got a nice looking zombie map. We know what the next room, we know what the next map pack is going to be. Um, so, you know, I looked at the map. Now, I'm not, I'm pretty sure you all know about this because everyone knows about the DLC or at the, at this point in time. So, you know, I get on, uh, I, I get on, I get, do my little research. I look at the picture. I'm not going to put the picture up because I don't, in case it is right, you know, I don't, I don't want any chances of getting copyright strike. So, I'm not going to put the picture up. So, I look at it and... Just, I, I'm, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm having some kind of, I'm, something's off. Something's definitely off. I just feel like the, the picture is so repetitive. It's too repetitive to me. Like it, it looks exactly the same as, as the first DLC, Awakening. You know, it, it looks the exact same as this picture that I'm looking at. It's a side by side of the awakening and the ignition. The the font looks a bit off because you it, it just it's just so in line with each other. The font looks off. Oh man, sorry about that. Just dropped my mic. Yeah, the font looks off. The maps, uh, the maps. I guess they look good. Junction, hangar, rooftop, and breakout, and deep. Oh, die insul or something like that. I, I like I said, don't think I can't read. It's just the my it, the picture I'm looking at is so small. It's like you can't you can barely read the words. And that was the zombies map. I'm just gonna call it Diesel uh, as the zombies map. Um, if you guys was to look at the picture, you guys probably think it was fake because the font is a little weird. It looks repetitive. It looks like a it looks like a 12 year old did it to be honest they just it looks like a 12 year old just took the picture and just photoshopped it or something it, it doesn't look real and i don't think it's real at all so i don't think the next deal is and why would it be called ignition i don't understand that what ignition i mean if you know what ignition means right i just no i just don't i can't picture that in my head i just don't think that that is going to be the next dlc uh you know i think that our next dlc is going to be a bit different hopefully we have some um new specialists and, and please don't put them in the supply drops please don't do that like seriously um, but i hope we have some new specialists some new weapons you know i was i was kind of disappointed about the last dlc because i expected a little bit more i thought we were gonna have you know new weapons new specialists you know um maybe more new maps i mean we're on next gen consoles right so we should have a bit more for our dlc you know than we did last time these maps they look beautiful but you know they, when they, they ship with the game and they when they ship they had a lot of problems and they're ginormous for what reason i just don't understand so you know i think that our next dlc needs to be smaller maps right needs to be regulated for map exploits and and it, and it needs to be not called it, it it doesn't need to be called ignition ignition that's just a stupid name i just for me i just think it's a stupid name that dlc is fake 100 percent. but i could be wrong so that's why i'm not going to show a picture of it um and now here is one thing that i do think is just a little bit true could be true could not be true the M27, you know, is is going to be a new gun that could possibly be in the supply drops, or we might possibly get. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the supply drops. Um, why? Here, here's my only problem with this: why the M27? Like, why? Why? Like, that was a gun that nobody really used in Black Ops 2. Why the M27? Why not the Scar H or the AN94? or um or the or the what's, what's that submachine gun called i haven't played black ops 2 in so long the the the, <clears throat> the 
Oh, uh, what? How did I forget the submachine gun? Okay, I know the one was the scorpion. How about the scorpion? With the MSMC, that's what I forget. How could I forget that gun? You guys can roast me in the comment section for that one, for forgetting the MSMC, how godlike that gun was. But why not those weapons? Why, why a weapon that nobody really liked in Black Ops 2? Because I assume they're talking about Black Ops 2. What other Treyarch game did they have? The M27. So I, I don't, I think that that's fake as well. I just don't think, you know, Treyarch's all about generating hype. And that just wouldn't generate any hype in M27. I think things, I think the the perfect gun that would generate hype would be the, if they bought the, brought the AN94 back. That would actually be really cool. So I think that that's fake as well, just because it just sounds a little bit too generic. It just sounds like, it sounds like there's no purpose to it. So, you know, as far as DLC, I would love to see an AN, an, uh, AN94. I would love to see that. I think that would definitely generate hype uh, for the game. I just, not, not an M27, no. I would love to see that. I would love to see new specialists in this DLC. Um, you know, specialists that can do different things, not just generic versions of other specialists. Like, I don't want a different type of specialist that can go faster. Like, I want a specialist that can do something that no other specialist can do. You know? Uh, another thing I want to see is medium size maps. Right? You're going to remake. And that's another thing about the, about the DLC maps that I saw on here. None of them look like a remake of of, uh, of one of the old maps because usually in, in a Treyarch game or in any Call of Duty game one of the DLCs is like a remake of a map from Black Ops 2 right just like just like we saw Skyjacked so I don't I just think that's another reason why that map pack is fake uh, and anyway getting to what I want to see in this DLC I just want to see medium sized maps I think that this DLC right here, The Awakening. I didn't think it was such a good DLC. I thought it, the maps looked beautiful, but the flow was terrible. It just, it just wasn't good at all. The maps looked beautiful, but they were map exploits. The flow is terrible. The, the maps are too big, so it's slow. It's just, it's not, it's just, no. I just don't like it. So yeah, mid-sized maps, Treyarch. Please. But anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.